Hey everybody, welcome to another video by Goats on the Road. In this video, we're super excited because for the first time ever, we're renting a camper van and we're gonna be traveling around doing road trips around beautiful Portugal. We're renting our camper van with Indie Campers and we're gonna spend about 10 days driving through central and northern Portugal. Apparently there are some beautiful lakes and rivers and mountains up in the north of Portugal. There's so much raw nature here, so we're excited to get this camper van, go drive around and check it out. We're especially looking forward to this road trip because we've been in the city for so long, locked down here, so we're really excited to get out into Mother Nature. So we're picking up the Active Plus model from Indie Campers. We're gonna show you guys around the van first, and then we're gonna hit the road. Let's do it. Our first stop with the van was the stunning fairy tale village of Sintra. It's just a 20 minute drive outside of Lisbon, but it felt like an entirely different world. We found palaces, castles, gardens, all set in a lush forest. We only ended up checking out one palace, which has the famous wells and spiral staircases down to the bottom, but it was really hard to maneuver the van around the narrow streets, so we didn't stay too long in Sintra. So this is day one with our camper van and this is our first campsite. We're here on an incredible property. It's five hectares, tons of farmland, there's sheep, but there's goats and there's the most amazing view. So after one night at the first campsite, we decided to head out to one of the nearby waterfalls and we went for a hike up to it and you literally have to walk like right through the river to get to it. And then it opened up into this beautiful scene of like, you know, stones on either side of the river and there was these massive pools that were just crystal clear. And we both went for a swim, but it was, you know, June in the mountains of Portugal, so it was freezing cold, uh, but it was just a really beautiful spot. The second campsite that we decided to stay at was called Lima Escape and it was gorgeous. It was set in the forest right along the Lima River and pretty much as soon as we arrived, Nick set up his fly rod and went fishing on the river. I chilled out and sat on the banks and just read my book and it was perfect. This is exactly what we were looking for after being locked down in Lisbon for three months, peace, quiet and nature. So after a couple of nights at Lima Escape Campsite, we were back on the road. When we posted about this camper van trip on social media, a lot of people told us to use the Park for Night app, which basically lists a bunch of wild camping spots around Europe and the rest of the world, where you can park a camper van and spend the night for free. We found a beautiful spot right by the Lima River, and we spent a night there with pretty much the whole place to ourselves. Of course, in most cases, there's no facilities when you wild camp, like electrical hookup, barbecues, or public toilets, but it's nice to not be around all the other campers sometimes and to feel like you're kind of away from it all. Nick 
Nick didn't have much luck fishing on his own, so we got back in the van and we headed further north in Portugal towards the Spanish border. There, we met up with a professional fly fishing guide to take Nick out on the nearby rivers. So I just met up with Antonio from Minho Fly Fishing and we are here at the Cora River. This is one of the many beautiful rivers up here on the northern part of Portugal that you can go fly fishing on. So we're going to go down, cast some lines and see if we can catch some fish on this beautiful river. Let's go. So after a long day of fishing, we drove back up here to the Minho River and we found this beautiful wild camp spot right here. We're all by ourselves and the sun is just setting. We're going to make some quick dinner and just relax. So we woke up this morning at our beautiful wild camping spot here on the Minho River and all along this river is this long wide cement path. Yeah we're not sure how long it goes for but it separates Portugal with Spain and this morning a lot of people are out running, jogging, cycling, walking and it's a really nice day. So we're gonna do a little walk, get back to the camper, we gotta pick up some things and continue on this epic road trip in Portugal. So we just left our campsite, we had a delicious breakfast of French toast and bacon and now we're here just outside of the village of Suajo. It was only about a 10 minute drive to get here and it was absolutely stunning through the forest and the mountains and right now we are standing around some granaries. Apparently these are really typical of northern Portugal. They have crosses on the roofs of all of them so it kind of looks like a cemetery overlooking the small village here but it's beautiful up here. In this town, we're planning to hit up some of the natural rock pools, go for a little dip because it's so hot outside and just explore. Yeah, I'm sunburnt already, so I'm gonna put on some sunscreen and hit up these pools. <laughs> Let's go. After leaving the Poço Negro waterfall near the town of Saljo, we hopped back in the van and headed east to the Juresh National Park. This was by far the most scenic part of the entire road trip around Portugal. All right, so this is the epitome of goats on the road. We have a massive herd of goats going past. Hey guys. campsites here in the National Park. Up here there's a few tents but down here is where the camper vans go and this is our spot here right along the river and we're having dinner tonight. What we're are we having, having? We're having quesadillas tonight mm. and there's only like a couple other people. There's a few tents here but there's only one other camper van so we're recording this at a time of social distancing and there's no better way to travel right now than like this because we're 30 feet away from the next person and making ourselves a delicious dinner. Beautiful view out to the river. This is awesome.
right guys, that is it. That was 10 days road tripping around beautiful northern and central Portugal with our camper van with Indy Campers. We had such an amazing time. It's definitely something that we're gonna do again. Um, we really enjoyed all of the nature, driving around, fishing, hiking, camping, and just, yeah, exploring. This is the best way to travel right now, I think, with everybody wanting to be social distanced yeah. and you having your own place, your own toilet, your own shower, just your own space to travel around in. It's the perfect way to explore your own backyard and just see different parts of your own country yeah. with a camper van. All right, guys, that's another video by Goats on the Road. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time, guys. Bye. Later. So this is the less glamorous part of camping in a camper van that you probably don't see on Instagram. <laughs> but we've got to empty the toilet, which is a chemical toilet, so it should be not so bad. It should have just turned into basically liquid and the gray water tank again. Here we go.